All right, my friends, so on our giraffe today, we are going to be using a black, and you can use a black crayon, a black pencil, a black marker, a black Sharpie, up to you, but we are gonna use a black color to create patterns inside our giraffe's pattern. So it's gonna be a pattern in a pattern. So remember, the page previously has talked to you guys some about patterns, and that you can always go back in and look at those but inside each one of these boxes we are going to try and create a different pattern so if you use the same one more than once that's okay but try to make as many different patterns as possible so get your black out and we are going to start doing our patterns okay guys so looking at that remember our pattern is something that repeats. So this one, I did a diagonal line, meaning it's going slanted over and over and over again until I filled up that spot on my giraffe's neck. All right, good, so I went through and I filled each neck spot up with the pattern, and then I'm also gonna do the ones on the face, so don't forget those. Sorry about the bell, guys. All right, so going through with this, once we have all of our patterns drawn, you are going to pick a color that you are gonna use. I am asking that you just pick one color to use on your giraffe. So please make sure, like I said, just one color that you are going to color in all of the areas that have a pattern in them. So whatever color you choose, remember, you are only coloring in the areas that have a pattern. All right, guys, so once you have colored in all of the areas that you filled in with pattern, that's where we're gonna stop for today. I wanna make sure you have some time. You really take your time to do this. You're not rushing through. You're keeping it nice and neat. Now you saw in here how I did this. I didn't have any sections where if I was coloring it in, I did a quick scribble like this. That does not work. You need to make sure it is solidly colored and I'm not seeing any white space between your coloring lines. So finish up your um, giraffe, the patterns, coloring it in. And then next week we are going to draw a background and be finished with our giraffe. Y'all have fun.